morning. He is risen. He is risen indeed. He is risen. He is risen indeed. He is risen. He is risen indeed. Amen. Let's do the responsive reading. Why seek ye the living among the dead? He is not here, but is risen. He is risen indeed. The Lord has risen. He is risen indeed. The Lord has risen. He is risen indeed. O death, where is thy sting? O grave, where is thy victory? Death is swallowed up in victory. Christ is risen indeed. Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. Thanks, Thanks be to God, God which giveth us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord is risen. <laughs> he is risen indeed. Hallelujah. All right, let's sing. Woohoo. He lives. How does this go? Oh. <laughs> I serve a risen Savior, He's in the world today. I know that He is living, whatever men may say. I see His hand of mercy, I hear His voice of cheer. And just the time I meet Him, He's always near. He lives, He lives, Christ Jesus lives today. He walks with me and talks with me along life's narrow way. He lives, he lives, salvation to impart. You ask me how I know he lives. He lives within my heart. In all the world around me, I see his loving care. Though my heart grows weary, I never will despair. I know that He is leading through all the stormy blast. The day of His appearing will come at last. He lives, He lives, Christ Jesus lives today. He walks with me and talks with me along life's narrow way. He lives, he lives, salvation to impart. You ask me how I know he lives. He lives within my heart. Rejoice, rejoice, O Christian, lift up your voice and sing. Eternal hallelujahs to Jesus Christ the King. The hope of all who seek him, the help of all who find. None other is so loving, so good and kind. He lives, he lives, Christ Jesus lives today. He walks with me and talks with me along life's narrow way. He lives, he lives, salvation to impart. You You are risen this day. How glorious. You foretold it and you made it happen. Praise be unto your name. We come this morning in celebration of your risen. We come in celebration of you being risen this morning, Lord Jesus. You are our Savior, our eternal life. We seek you with our whole heart. <laughs> Thank you for your sacrifice on the cross. Thank you for paying for my sin this day, O Lord. Glory be unto your name. In Jesus we pray. Amen. 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 The scripture for the morning is from Matthew 28, verses 1 through 10, in the New King James Version. Now after the Sabbath, as the first day of the week, began at Jadon, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary came to see the tomb. 
And behold, there was a great earthquake, for an angel of the Lord descended from heaven and came and rolled back the stone from the door and sat on it. His countenance was like lightning and his clothing as white as snow. And the guards shook for fear of him and became like dead men. But the angel answered and said to the women, Do not be afraid. For I know that you seek Jesus, who was crucified. He is not here, for he is risen, as he said. Come, see the place where the Lord lay, and go quickly and tell his disciples that he is risen from the dead, and indeed he is going before you into Galilee. There you will see him. Behold, I have told you. So they went out quickly from the tomb with fear and great joy, and ran to bring his disciples the word. The women worshiped the Lord, risen Lord. And as they went to tell his disciples, behold, Jesus met them saying, Rejoice. So they came and held him by the feet and worshiped him. Then Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go and tell my brethren to go to Galilee, and there they will see me. Thus ends the reading of the word. <coughs> Let us sing, Christ is the Lord is risen today. <coughs> <coughs> I looked at said 604, one said 605. My my reliable source is 606. <laughs> but whatever it is, I couldn't get you guys out here at 6 o'clock this morning so we could watch the sunrise. But what is sunrise? What does it mean to sunrise? What is what are we actually th thinking about when we say sunrise? Well, if you a new day, absolutely. And Actually, if sunrise is at 6.04, 6.05, if you look at it even before 6 o'clock, the sun is starting to get, the, it's, it's trying to come up, it's not there yet, but we're seeing the darkness go away and, the, and we're starting to see sunlight, or not sunlight, but we're seeing light, amen? amen? We're seeing light out there. And I, I was even noticing this morning, I got up at 4.30, so that was great. And it's so quiet at 4.30 in the morning, and as soon as it starts getting a little bit light outside, you hear the birds starting to fly around and chirping. They know that it's a new day. 
they know the sun sun is coming up just a little bit and it's it's rising and it's a brand new day so that's what sunrise is it it means it's a brand new day it, uh, there's a there's a pastor by the name of Spencer Horman from uh, North Dakota who's from North Dakota okay good good well anyway you may know him maybe not but he writes he writes this it says the sky may still be dark but you can sense the coming of the light we call this time dawn the moments of dawn soon give way to twilight as the sun sun's rays begin to burn the sky with the simplest hint of color the earth god's entire creation begins to stir with life soon twilight ends as the upper edge of the sun appears in the horizon in the east intense red and orange hues pierce into the darkness and soon darkness is overcome by the brilliant rising of the sun night gives way to dark darkness gives way to light and death death gives way to life amen isn't that great so in Colorado when I was when we were living there sunrise seemed to be a little bit different when we went to the mountains and we uh, we were we were spending the night in total darkness I mean you sometimes without the full moon out it was really black up there in the, in the mountains especially if you're if you're uh, uh, camping in the trees it gets really dark and it's really nice in the morning to wake up and, and as soon as the light starts coming up, the sunrise starts coming up, all of a sudden you kind of wake up, you know it's a brand new day. Isn't it, isn't it glorious that God has given us one more day? When you wake up in the morning and you see the sunlight, you, you say, thank you, Lord, for another day that I can serve you. Do you do that? Or does it take, like yeah. me, <laughs> it, it takes maybe a cup of coffee or part of a coffee, a cup of coffee. But, but we get up in the morning and we're so thankful that God has given us one more day. And as, I, as we read the scripture this morning, you, as uh, Ed was reading the scripture, I noticed that Mary and Mary Magdalene, they were going at daylight. I mean, before daylight. It was right, at, right when the light was starting to come up. It hadn't been sunrise yet. They're headed to the tomb. Why are they going to the tomb at that unreal time of morning? Didn't they sleep in in the mornings? I don't know. But they're heading that way. Now, if you remember, if you go back the end of the last chapter in, in, uh, in Matthew, that chapter 27, and we'll talk about that later in the, in the service later, but, but they were there while all the disciples and everybody else was running away when, when Jesus was on the cross. Everybody left but his mother and Mary Magdalene. They stayed, and they followed as Joseph carried him to the tomb to put him in they were with they were with that little group well it's not much of a group it was just joseph and probably had a couple of people carrying the body but they were there at sunrise because i think they're probably the only ones that remembered what jesus had said he says i'm going to be i'm going to be tortured i'm going to die but i will raise again on the third day and i they, i think for them they probably realized that when the sun rose on that third day, that, uh, Mary's thinking, my son Jesus said he's going to be risen from the dead. I think they were expecting. Every morning when we see a sunrise, do we expect to see Jesus Christ or feel him every single morning that he's going to direct our paths that particular day? And then as you read the scripture, it says, it says there was an earthquake. Well, if you also look in chapter 27 you'll notice that when jesus died there was an earthquake that shook everything and you and you also read which is very obscure in the in the scriptures but you'll read where when the when the earthquake came the graves opened up and and people were coming out of the grave and that's all they ever said about them that they were coming out of the grave what happened to them do you think they were getting ready for when jesus rose and they went with jesus at the time that he rose i don't know i'm just throwing that out but we expect on on, on, uh, on this glorious morning 
that Christ is arisen and we're looking gloriously toward that. Every morning we should look up and say, thank you, God, and you are a risen Lord. Everybody else that day before was looking at it going, he was dead. Now, the Roman soldiers and all of the, the uh, Pharisees and scribes, they were looking at that too going, you know, we're, we're not going to... We're not going to do anything until we know he's dead. And it usually, it, usually what happens is it starts getting dark. The Roman soldiers would go and break the legs or whatever it may be in order to make sure that that person's dead. But when they went to Jesus, they knew beyond a shadow of a doubt he was dead. But he prophesied that he would be coming back in the, on the third day. And Mary knew what her son was saying. She was there. You came this morning expecting to be here at sunrise or after sunrise, praising the Lord, saying, thank you, God, for you've risen. <coughs> All the other people that, that, that other religions that, that uh, they follow, those, those guys are dead. You can, go look at the, you can go look at the bones, but he is risen. He is risen indeed, amen? amen? Dawn approaches. Now, with the dawn, there's hope. With the dawn comes hope. Jesus foretold his death. He talked about his suffering. He said that he was going to be raised from the dead. Darkness is giving away to the light in the morning. Jesus Christ died for each one of us, but he rose. And he, and he promises there's a hope of eternal life with Jesus Christ. Amen? Amen? In Luke it says, The rising sun will come to us from heaven to shine on those in darkness and in the shadow of death to guide our feet into the path of peace. Jesus is not dead. He is risen. With, with that dawn also comes a different type of hope. We know that the coming of the light shines in the darkness. At darkness, we sometimes we feel a little bit, uh, we want to be inside. We want to turn on the light. I don't know how many people sit in their house at night, all darkness and, and all that stuff. We turn on the light because we want to be in the light. And people walking in darkness have seen a great light, and it's Jesus Christ. Amen? He comes into our life to spread light. The coming light will shine, and it's overcoming death, and will bring us this peace. He brings us the light of the world. This pastor also in, in, uh, says, and what is that? The sun is beginning to rise. Now, he, he makes sure that the sun is S-O-N, not S-U-N. The sun is, start, is beginning to rise. It says intense red is spilled out underneath the cross just as the rising sun, that sun, is pierces the skies. With the pouring of Jesus' blood, the darkness didn't know it, but it had already lost. Jesus Christ, rising from the dead, has victory over death. Amen? Amen. Matthew 4 says the people living in darkness have seen a great light. On those living in the land of the shadow of death, the light has dawned. Woo! Amen. And also with the sun, or with the dawn, comes, comes another hope. And that's the hope that the sun, the sun, now stands tall. He is broken free from the bonds of death. He's, he's opened the grave so everybody could go in and look. And now, now what Mary and the other Mary saw when they walked in was that not only was Jesus gone but it wasn't one of those where he just was was laying in the tomb and he just he just disappeared and the, and the clothes the grave clothes were there those clothes were neatly folded and placed there which means this was a deliberate Jesus Christ arose from the dead and he made the the uh, the earthquake come to roll away the stone because it took two or three people to roll away that stone. Mary and Mary Magdalene didn't know what they were going to do when they got to the grave to go see has, there, has, has Mary's uh, son Jesus, has he risen from the dead like he said he would? But God allowed the stone to be rolled away so that they could see beyond a shadow of a doubt Jesus Christ is risen. He's risen indeed. In Matthew 27, Jesus cried out, It is finished. The veil had been ripped in two no longer was there any darkness. Death no longer has any power over us. Amen? Amen? With sunrise comes a brand new victory in Jesus. Victory in Jesus. 
And also with hope, with dawn, excuse, excuse me, comes another hope, the hope that marks something new. It's somebody had mentioned, I think Connie had mentioned, that with every new day, we are a new person. We're a new person in Christ every single day. We need to share that God has given us a blessing that we need to share with those around us. God has given us a brand new day to share him with everybody. Amen? Brand new day. Hallelujah. What a Savior. Yeah. Would you sing with me? Christ arose. Because I know He holds the 